Today we're diving into an essential yet overlooked system in your body, the lymphatic system. If you've ever felt bloated, sluggish, struggled with stubborn weight gain, your lymphatic system might be the missing piece of the puzzle. Hi everyone, welcome back to The Movement Paradigm. My name is Dr. Ariane Messimer. I'm a functional medicine practitioner, doctor of physical therapy, registered dietitian, and owner of The Movement Paradigm Integrative Health Center. And we are so passionate about the lymphatic system, so I'm super excited to share with you today. So by the end of this video, you'll understand why a healthy lymphatic system is crucial for your immune health, for proper detoxification, and honestly, overall well-being. Plus, I'll share four simple strategies that you can start to use today to boost your immune system and your lymphatic flow. So let's get right into it. The lymphatic system is like your body's built-in cleanup crew. Think of it like your aquarium. It's a network of vessels, nodes, and organs that transport a clear fluid called lymph. This fluid carries away toxins, waste, and unwanted materials from your tissues, and it helps to keep your immune system strong and your body healthy. The primary structures of the lymphatic system are quite vast. So the first is the lymphatic capillaries. So these capillaries are the small smallest little vessels that lie underneath of the skin and they are the smallest in the lymphatic system. They're originating as tiny sacs and their walls are going to be made of a single layer of endothelial cells which are much more permeable than blood capillaries. So this allows large molecules like proteins, waste immune cells to enter the lymphatic system. Then we have lymphatic vessels. Think of these exactly as they're described as vessels. They are going to carry thin vein-like tubes that carry the lymph throughout the body. They're unlike veins, they have more valves, but they're one-way valves. So that's really important as we will get into in a moment. Then you have your lymph nodes, which are much more common. These are the small bean-shaped up to about an almond-sized structures that filter the lymph. They trap bacteria, viruses, other pathogens, which are then ultimately destroyed by the immune cells. Then we have our lymphatic organs. These include the spleen, the thymus, the tonsils, the bone marrow, and they each play a different unique role in the production of white blood cells and overall immune function. Then we have, most importantly, our thoracic duct and our right lymphatic duct. So most of the lymph is going to drain in this left lymphatic duct, and the right side of the head and the right arm are going to drain in the right lymphatic duct. So with this network working together, the lymphatic system serves as a crucial bridge between our immune system and our circulatory system. So why is this important? If your lymphatic system is not working properly, toxins and cellular waste can build up, lead to issues like swelling, fatigue, inflammation, even things like cellulite. And here's the thing that most people don't realize is as we age, the strength and the frequency of the lymphatic contractions can decrease up to 70%. So don't worry, I'm here to help you with improving and optimizing your lymphatic system. All right, so let's get into four simple but powerful ways you can support your lymphatic system today. Number one is move your body. So as I mentioned, we have one-way valves which depend on skeletal muscle contractions. So your lymphatic system doesn't have a pump like the heart, so it relies on movement to circulate the lymph. So this means things like walking, rebounding, yoga, dance, all of these things can be very, very valuable in boosting our overall lymphatic movement. These movements can help compress the lymphatic vessels and they encourage the flow of the lymph back into the bloodstream, moving back into our heart. Number two is diaphragmatic breathing. So yes, this is something as simple as diaphragmatic breathing that has a huge respiratory pump. It can have a profound impact on your lymphatic system. It integrates very deeply with your cisterna chile, which is a lymphatic vessels right in the abdomen and chest. And a great technique is something like doing an inhale for four seconds, holding it for four, and an extended exhalation. You get the boost of the lymphatic flow, but you also get the boost of calming your nervous system, releasing acetylcholine, which helps to promote that relaxation response. So it's kind of a win-win. 
Number three is hydrate. So hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So lymph is primarily made of water. So staying hydrated is essential. If you're dehydrated, lymph is going to become thicker. The flow is going to slow down. So we want to aim for at least half of our body weight in ounces a day, plus electrolytes to get the water to the cells. So a pro tip is adding a pinch of high quality sea salt to your water with a little lemon. This can improve cellular hydration, or you can use electrolyte packets. So proper hydration is one of the simplest ways to support lymphatic health, but it is so often overlooked. Number four is lymphatic self-massage. So this is something I encourage all my patients to do. So this technique can stimulate lymphatic flow, reduce swelling in key areas where we tend to get congestion, our neck, our armpits, our abdomen. So this can be extremely simple, taking approximately 60 to 90 seconds a day, and I will show you how to do that. To perform the technique, you're going to start with your left collarbone of the subclavian vein. So the technique is feather light, faster, deeper, tap for three, pull in the direction of the heart for three. So each direction, now you're moving into the axilla area, still pulling in the direction of the heart, feather light, faster, deeper, tap and then pull in the direction. Then you move to the abdomen. From here, you're going to wanna to think about when you pull, you're gonna pull up in the direction of the heart once again. Then you're gonna to move to the inguinal area. So you're doing this on all of the key lymphatic areas. Think of all of these as the different nodes, the adductor area, so the inside thigh. Then again, pulling up towards the inguinal area, behind the knee in the popliteal space. And then lastly is going to be inside of the ankle here. So you can see me doing it on one side and you can do these together at the same time. Then afterwards, once you've done that and you've worked your way into it, you can move it to the face. So here you'll go under the jawline. Then you're going to move to the lateral jaw. Then you're going to move to the nasolabial fold. and then the temple. And then lastly, you'll move to the occipital area, so right behind the back of the head. And then right afterwards, you want to shake and move and move the lymph that you just influenced. So about 30 seconds, upwards of a minute is perfect. Now to integrate dry brushing. So you'll start with clearing the left subclavian vein first because again, this is where most of the lymph drains. Then you're going to begin dry brushing from the bottom of your feet. So you can go from the bottom of the foot all the way up the lower calf. Remember inside that ankle, that's where we have a lot of lymph. Then behind the knee in that popliteal space. Also moving up the thigh into that adductor region moving up to the other leg. And this ideally can be done on skin, so a great time to do this is right before the shower. Moving up to that adductor region again and spending a little bit more time as you wish on these key lymphatic drainage points. Moving into the inguinal space, so here you're pulling up again towards the heart. When you get to the abdomen, I, I do encourage to do a little extra here. You can also do clockwise circles. So then you can move up towards your arms. So now we're again gonna influence it back to the heart. So simply moving in the direction and also focusing on the axilla area. So feel free to spend some time there. You're also getting sensory stimulation with a dry brush, which is really nice for nervous system regulation. So this could be a really, really great additive practice that I recommend doing two to three days a week, alternating with the other practice. And then once again, shaking and bouncing afterwards. So the self-massage can take 60 to 90 seconds and you can do this before a shower, whether you're doing the regular lymph drainage or you're doing the dry brushing. So ultimately this is going to encourage the stagnant flow that you may have, leaving you feel more energized and improve your overall health. One of the most powerful tools that I love using with patients is the LymphaTouch. This is a negative pressure therapy tool that helps to stimulate lymphatic flow, reduce swelling, and promote faster recovery. So it uses a gentle targeted suction. It enhances the movement of the lymph via the capillaries. It makes it an effective addition to an overall lymph 
practice. It obviously has to be conducted with a, a health practitioner, but it is a great way to amplify your results. And the beauty of the Lymphotouch is that it's a precision-based, a very effective lymphatic treatment versus a general negative pressure therapy like cupping. All right, so let's do a quick recap. So to support your lymphatic system, you want to think about moving your body, practicing diaphragmatic breathing 25,000 times a day, self-lymphatic drainage so that you can do it regularly, and also hydration, hydration, hydration. Also considering using Lymphatouch if you have access to that and working with a healthcare provider. This can have a massive impact on your overall health, energy, even body composition. So if you're ready to learn more about holistic health, functional medicine, nervous system regulation, please reach out to us, subscribe to our channel, The Movement Paradigm for weekly tips, and really make sure that you are integrating these things into your life so you can really achieve whole body wellness. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, like it, share it, comment. I love reading your comments. I try my best to respond. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I can't wait to see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you order a lab test for your medical practice, head over to rootbelt.com to order hundreds of different labs from over 35 different lab companies, including Dutch, Dr. Zeta, Mosaic, and more.